Hi guys, Brett Parker here, Handicap Scratch. Today I'm down here at Hartford Driving Range in Cheshire. Um, I'm gonna be testing some clubs. So specifically, I wanna test some drivers. Um, now, when I say test, it's more just to kind of get a feel for them. Um, I'm looking at new drivers coming up now for the summer. So I almost wanna kind of, uh, not rule a few out, but kind of, what do I like this, the feel of? So uh, we've got the Titleist M1, M2 that you've seen there, 917 D2, D3, which I have hit. There's a review on my channel. Uh, further over here, we have Callaway Epic and Sub-Zero as well, which I'll be hitting. Um, further down, the XR, Big Bertha Fusion, I'll be hitting a few of them. Um, and the Ping G uh, LS tech as well. So I'll hit a few of these. Um, this is not a uh, strict kind of review. It's not a fitting either. It's just me hitting some clubs, seeing what I like the kind of feel of and kind of getting a feel for new drivers. I've never done this uh, in terms of picking a new driver. My G30 is literally off the shelf. It'll do. So um, yeah, very interested. Um, I have kind of done a semi fit, like kind of a quick fitting um, to optimize my loft and shaft. So I know roughly what I need. Um, we're looking at a 9.5 head, slightly higher, so about 0.75, maybe getting it to about 10, 10 and a half. Um, in the shaft, I'm going to try and use the same, although obviously with different sleeves it's difficult. But basically it's going to be a stiff flex with about 60 gram weight, so they should all be the same. Same length, everything else the same. Yeah, there's going to be no numbers today, there will be a fit to come, but uh, this is kind of just a, a quick look at what's going on. Do you know the way back to other days when my heart was innocent? I cashed it in for pocket change. Lost my way with nothing gained. I've been singing songs and I've been working hard, trying to catch a shooting star. But everything is foreign here, clouded up and full of fear. Just take me home. So here's the plan. I'm gonna hit 10 with each driver. I've got six drivers here. Four up there, and two down here. Um, and I have, thank you to uh, Adam Powell uh, here at Hartford. He's left me the GC2 on so I can use that. So um, it'll display the numbers to me on the screen. <laughs> it keeps changing every time. So it shows me the numbers on the screen, so I can actually give a kind of a gauge as to how far this is going, spin rates, launch angles, um, I'm not sure how much detail it actually shows me. Uh, but it'll kind of give me an idea for how far each one's going. Not really that interested in that right now, or if I want to get interested in that, it'll be a proper fit. So yeah, let's hit a few. I'm going to try and hit 10 with each, slightly limited on time, so I'll just hit as many as I can um, and get a feel. Yeah, let's go from there. Okay, so M1, 9.5 degrees. I've uh, made it slightly higher in the loft. Um, neutral settings on top. The data would suggest somewhere in between 260 to 270, 2000 spin rate, 13 degrees up. All seems pretty good. This one had uh, one dot on it, so it could tell me the swing speeds. Generally, I'm looking between 103 to 105. I don't think I got one less than 105 there. I think it was 106 and 107. So maybe one of two things, my swing speed I'm basing off Trackman's, which is less reliable for swing speed. So that may just be more accurate or I'm swinging this faster. Interesting. Right, I'm not gonna go straight to the M2. I'm gonna try something different and um, try and keep it up. Uh, feeling off the face, I seem to hit them all pretty well. Went fairly straight. Um, yeah, didn't have too many complaints. They all would have hit the fairway, I think. Moving on, I've got the 917D2. Again, 
Um, 9.5 had D4, which is 0.75, I think, normal standard line. Let's give it a hit. Now that one's quite interesting. I very rarely had the swing speed less than 106. Some have put one in nearly eight. But I struggled to get it above 265 maybe. Now, obviously it could be a setup issue, but swing speed did go up with this one. I'm starting now to think that uh, Trackman's obviously Leniency and uh, calculations obviously calculate my driver swing speed to be wrong. I think that's more accurate, especially with the dot and the HMT. That being said, my swing speed's higher, but this actually didn't go as far, so could be a setup issue. I'm still going to bear that one in mind. Um, feeling, it's a weird feeling one, so I'm not sure about that one. Okay, Callaway Epic, let's give that a hit. Calloway Big Bertha sub zero. Um, I've got it at the nine, nine degrees, um, and then obviously cranked up slightly higher. Um, again, the same shaft. The only difference with this one is it's a stiff flex, but it's slightly lighter. It's at 55. The others were at 60 or 65. Um, I don't think that should make too much difference, though. Um, I'm sure there'll be plenty of people commenting down below that shaft makes a lot of difference. But for me, right now, uh, just to test how they feel. I'm sure it won't make too much difference. So uh, when I go to get fit, that will all be sorted. Um, yeah, so let's give it a hit. Okay, so that one feels like a little bit of a non-starter for me. I couldn't really get it going. I hit you know, 260, 270, 250. I hit some really horrible shots. It just... Sub-Zero for me right now is uh, not one I'd put in the bag. Obviously, uh, fitting, things like that, uh, I wouldn't need tested. If you look at the face, I couldn't seem to hit it in the middle. Could be that shaft problem. <laughs> not rolling it out, I'm gonna try the other Sub-Zero, not the Sub-Zero, the other Epic. See how that goes. I'll move on to the M2 for now though. Okay, so I hit a few dodgy ones, shall we say. Um, but for the most part, I hit some few really nice ones in there. It feels just like a louder M1. <laughs> um, so, not gonna rule that out, but I think, I don't see why I would go for that instead of the M1, so. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, right, moving on to the normal Callaway Epic. Give that a go. So I've got everything exactly the same as the um, Epic, except for this time I've obviously got adjustable weight, which is in neutral setting. Okay, so that one was very interesting. It took me a little bit of time to get used to it. But once I did, it didn't half go. Um, I quite like that one. That one was really nice. I'd be interested to try different shafts, different uh, loft variations, um, weight placements and stuff like that. So but that one did feel pretty good. I have heard some very good things about this, so that's definitely a contender. I'm not going to try the D3. I have tried the D2. I've tried the D3 before. Obviously, I wasn't wasn't too big of a fan of it. They're, Gorgeous looking heads, I really like the, the club, but they just didn't quite feel right for me. So I'm not gonna rule it out when I have the fit, I will try it. Um, try it fully custom fitted. But for right now, it's between the M1 and the normal Callaway Epic. So what I thought I'd do is quickly just check my driver. And the spin rate is insane. Launch is about right, got that uh, ball speed's about right. Spin's just insane. And they're all roughly the same. Um, let's get to the next one. How do I skip? Not that one. That one, no. That one. 
I don't know. I don't know how to skip through. But anyway, um, club head speed was also around 103, 104. Well, the shaft's no different. It's still a stiff. Look, focus. Stiff. 65 gram. Head to 10.5. I've left it at 10.5, but you know the others are about 10.2. 10. It's not going to make that much difference. And the weird thing is, three and a half thousand spin on that last one, obviously. It's a LS Tech. It's very interesting. I'm just going to hit a couple more just to double check, but I couldn't get any any of them above 265, 270. So let's have a look. Three thousand spin. That's insane. <laughs> Okay, so this is why I'm changing this. And this is why I recommend anyone to go and get your clubs checked. Because I'm using the Ping G30 LS Tech. That's meant to be the low spinning one, isn't it? So why am I spinning it so high? Go and get yourself fitted. That's uh, made me wonder now. I definitely, definitely need this change in ASAP. I'm losing so much distance because of spin. So. I'm getting it changed. Comment down below. Have you tried any of these drivers? Are you going to try some of these drivers? Um, I definitely highly recommend coming down and trying them. The only one that I haven't tried today, just because of time, is the Ping G. Haven't tried the Callaway XR either, but I will be trying them during my fit. So, comment down below. Have you tried any of these drivers? Which one would you go for if you were me? Um, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. This one was kind of a bit of a, a rush video, just me testing out some drivers, just hitting them. Um, thank you to Hartford Driving Range obviously for allowing me in and kind of just allowing me to hit some balls. Yeah, it's really, really good. I've got a wedge fitting to come and a driver fitting obviously to come. Season's going to be good. Subscribe down below. Follow my journey. See you soon.